Hello everybody, welcome to another body movement tutorial. Today we are going to learn the side wave. I am Marius and if you are on this channel for the first time consider subscribing because we are making awesome tutorials just for you. Our goal is to make you an awesome dancer. So the side wave, it looks like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It doesn't matter, you can do it on four counts, three counts, you can do it one, two, three, four. The other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The counts don't really matter because you can do it on two counts, three counts, four counts, as low as you want, you can go on eight counts and so on. Of course, if you want to learn the side wave, you have to remember to practice, to stay focused and to make clear moves, the things that we're saying in all the videos. You need to practice because without practice, your body doesn't know what to do and you have that repetition that helps you, okay? Try it a few hundred times, 200, 300 times in a matter of weeks and you will become better at it just by practicing. You gotta focus, that means you have to be mindful of what your body is doing, pay attention to what your body is telling you and you have, you need to have clear moves. That means don't go like all your body at once, try to go side by side, step by step, every little inch of your body so that you understand what your body is doing. The basic technique consists of moving your shoulders, your torso, your hips and your legs. What do you mean by that? Well, when you move your shoulders, imagine that they are in a straight line. You just unbalance your line. Bam! You do this either on your left side or on your right side. Be sure to move both your shoulders at the same time at an exact line, like this. Don't go like that or like that or like that, okay? Focus, clear move, clear line. Then what you are doing, the second step is pushing your torso side to side. But of course you're going to mix it up with your shoulder line. So combining your shoulders with your torso goes like this shoulder, then you push your side of your torso, upper body, your chest to the side in which you are going and your shoulders come back in an horizontal line. But they don't come back here, they come back in that diagonal, meaning you go like BAM. Okay, so from here my shoulders are in a perfect horizontal line, but they are here. I do that by letting go of my hip a little bit and bending my leg a little bit also. So, one, two, then you have to push your hips and bend your knee more. So like it's just sitting, let's say, on a chair. Three, I am here. Then you go back in the reverse order. You push your hips, your chest, remember to, to, broke, to break your uh, shoulder line. Two and three. Of course, when you come back, you straighten your legs. So, one, two three and one two three do it with me from this position so one two three one two three and one two three and one two three of course these are isolated moves meaning that after you learn how to do them clearly okay you can start doing them faster one two three one two three these are isolated moves Meaning that first you learn how to do this step by step, slowly. Then learn to do them faster with practice. Bam, 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 bam. And then try to transition them. Meaning you go the first one, then the second one, transitioning, using your body to go as fluid as possible. And you do that by focusing on every little muscle in your body. Meaning you move your shoulder line, and then it's like you're going with your hand or your finger down the body and you're pushing millimeter by millimeter. So from here I keep pushing and going. Then here, here and bam, okay? It's like balancing yourself from one leg to another while you're going through those movements. Of course, it's easier to make this with your legs at your shoulder level, don't try to do it like this because you're going to fall. So try to stay like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
You see, now I counted until four. So at first, if we had like one, two, three, one, two, three, now I'm going until four. I'm going one, upper body, two, lower body, hips, hips, lower body, upper body, shoulder. Trust me that with practice, in a matter of weeks, this will be a piece of cake because you just need to understand how to do this roller coaster move. Imagine that you're going on top of your of the roller coaster and then you're going down and then up a little bit more. So from here you go, it's like going up, down the roller coaster and going back up. That's the side wave. We did it first rather than the normal wave because it's a little bit easier to understand and to practice because we are just going sideways. This is more uh, easier to understand because we have fewer elements like shoulder, chest and hips. In the normal body wave we have many many other body parts that we need to focus on. So remember to subscribe, to click the bell button so that YouTube will notify you whenever we upload something new. And if you want, you can support us on Patreon, click on the green box to donate. Every donation counts towards making more awesome tutorials. Until next time, see you later. And don't forget, if you want, you can su subscribe to our email list. We have a link down in the description section below. Bye-bye.